Hello. When you want to use a source control product with Magic XPI, you need to have the following installed on your computer. A source control client and an API for the source control. When you have both of these, you're ready to set up your environment to start working with source control. From the Tools menu, select Options, then select Source Control and Plugin Selection. Then, select the Source Control product that you want to work with and click OK. The first time you use Source Control with Magic XPI, go to the File menu, select Source Control and then launch your Source Control provider. In the Source Control Client, go to the Team Explorer and click on the Connect to Team Project icon. Click Servers and then Add. And in the Add Team Foundation Server dialog box, add the name or URL of the Team Foundation Server. And click OK. In the Connect to Team Project dialog box, select the Server and the Team Project and then click Connect. Once you have completed these steps, you can then go ahead and create a Magic XPI project that will be managed from the outset by Source Control. Create a new project in the normal way. Fill in the New Project dialog box and select the Add to Source Control checkbox and click OK. Here, you define the source control database that you want to work with. Note that the actual screens and options in the following steps depend on your choice of source control product. Here, choose the location for your project in the source control database. And click OK to add your project to the source control. And here are all the project files that you need to check into the source control. Click check in. Once your project is stored in the source control database, you can view it in the source control tool along with all the files that are associated with it. Today, I showed you how to use Magic XPI with source control. I hope you'll join me again soon for some more magic.